Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and I'm back, people. Yes, your boy was a little under the weather, but luckily, Shorty came through and rubbed that Vix on my chest like mama used to do. But before we get into the video, let me introduce you people to my new and reoccurring best friends. And first up the bat is the bro, Mel's Tats. And he says, for lunch, thank you, brother. Much appreciation. Thanks, Mel's. I appreciate you, my guy. And last but not least is a new best friend. And he says, for the bacon, egg, and cheese, poppy. Hey, yo. This one coming out of Long Island. Yo, shout out to Long Island, bro. I really appreciate that, my guy. And he's not done. He also says, in the next video, drag the F out of Big Deal. I hope that was enough for you, my guy. Pause. But thanks, and I appreciate all of you people who donate to the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese Fund. And if you, too, want to become one of Swayze's new best friends, just hit the cash app. It's literally that simple. I'm from Brooklyn for real. You can buy my friendship. But let's get right into this, because if I'm going to be honest with you people, I do not see an end to this Coco Felon Beth anytime soon. And I know you're thinking to yourself, Swayze, we heard you say this countless of times before. What makes now different? Well, hear me out real quick. Last time we spoke about Didi Osama, it seems like he was welcomed back into Sugar Hill. He was with the old crew, D Play for Keeps and Roscoe, and it looked like the membership was renewed and he was back with the fellas. And that made me think to myself, look, D Dot is going back and forth with his moms right now. Hopefully, these two kids could put their differences to the side for the betterment of Sugar Hill. Because at this point, there's nothing to beth about. Yeah, y'all was going crazy on GTA on each other. But now is the time to kiss and make up. But I guess I was wrong, guys. I guess I was wrong. Because it looks like Lil Durk is out here adding more fuel to the fire. If you look at your screen. Look at your screen. If you look at your screen, you can see that Lil Durk gave Didi Osama a huge cosign by calling him the New York City Smirk. Now, after he put this up in his stories, people went crazy. They was like, wow, are you serious? Dirk giving Didi Osama a cosign like that means he officially made it. He officially made it. It's over. It's over. There's nothing to talk about at this point. He's out of here. However, it seemed like somebody had a problem with Dirk referring to Didi Osama as New York City Smirk. And that person was Sugar Hill D-Dot. Because if you look at your screen, look at your screen again. You can see shortly after Lil Dirk posted that in his stories, that Sugar Hill D-Dot posted this in his stories, calling himself the real New York City smirk. And at this point is when I said, oh, no. Now they're fighting over who's the real New York City smirk. This is getting out of hand. And you know what? I'm blaming it on Lil Durk. He don't understand the Coco felon politics that's going on right now out here in the towns. And he's picking sides, bro. He's picking sides. Now you got D-Dot in his feelings. I'm blaming this whole thing right here on Lil Durk. And I'm going to also blame Asian Doll. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why she honestly has nothing to do with this, but I feel like I just feel like she deserves some blame when it comes to this. But all jokes aside, if you ask me, I just think there's a lot of eyes on New York City right now. Not only is Lil Durk giving Didi Osama huge cosigns, bro, G Herbo is on a song with D-Dot. 
It was posted the other day. The towns is kind of hot right now. It is what it is. And rather people like to admit it or not, Didi Osama is one of the people making the most noise out of the towns. Like, bro, did you see that video when a guy was interviewing all of his fans outside of his sold out show? One of the young ladies said the show changed her life. Like she went to his show and found God. Bro, can you believe it? There's girls at Didi Osama's show passing out like he's Michael Jackson. You think I'm lying? Yo, look at the video. Look at the video, I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. You felt about that show over there? I thought it was the most amazing show ever. My life was Damn. changed. I found God. I found Christ. I, show you? Was, I just found a new sense of hope in life. Yo, y'all hear that? Y'all go to a Didi Osama concert? Your life, your life is gonna change, gang. For real, for real. God gonna be on your show, well, If you miss a Didi Osama concert, your life will never be good. Riveting. Very tantalizing, disturbing, and riveting footage. Where there you have it, people. Just when you thought Didi Osama and Didi I could put their differences to the side, it seems like they're still tweaking off of the Pedia Light and the Flintstones vitamins because now they're beffing. Listen to me. Now they're beffing over who's really the New York City smirk. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this.